Have you guys ever wondered what it's like to be in an Airac video? Well, you're about to find out because I was one out of a hundred paparazzi that Eric hired to follow him around for the day. Guys, this is my friend Jake, by the way. Jake, today you're in charge of all the paparazzi, okay? I'm the head honcho. You're like the king paparazzi. Okay. So you might be wondering, how did I even get this weird role? Well, it started with something called Creator Now. So Creator Now is for aspiring creators, people trying to become YouTubers. So all these people that met me here are inside of Creator Now. Yeah! Look, that's me. I'm also in the program, and because of this meetup, I got a small part in one of his videos. But what it really came down to was just being friends. I actually genuinely become friends with these guys. For example, Tyler's actually, I mean, he's in the videos now. It's from Creator Now. Now, me and Tyler had grown close throughout the program, and a couple weeks later, he hit me up with this. My brother. What's up, dude? I'm here with another really, really stupid thing I want you to do for me. Okay, what's that? Well, well specifically for, for Eric, I, I need a bunch of paparazzi people tomorrow. Okay. And you're like the first guy I'm calling. Are you down? Yeah, when do you need me? Bring me there at like 7 a.m. All right, <laughs> I can do that. 7 a.m., I'll, I'll drop you the address. Okay, sounds good. Okay, see you soon. See ya, bye. So the next morning, I quickly got dressed in my paparazzi outfit, grabbed my camera, and got ready to be an absolute public menace for the next 12 hours. Is it true that you left your newborn child in Chili's? Hey, are you going to Ellis Candy? It's like a horror movie, but you know exactly what's about to happen. Are you in a romantic relationship with Sam? Are you guys fitness influencers? Do you guys come here often? He's not affiliated with the proper new channels. You should talk to me with any... <laughs> now you guys are probably wondering how people actually reacted in this situation. It was crazy because some people got very overwhelmed and were super confused. It's true that you and your grandma got a divorce. What? And there were some people who just flat out ignored us and didn't want anything to do with it. Barack Obama recently named you sexiest billionaire. What are your thoughts? Oh no, he's not a fan. But some people were loving the attention. Please help me. Mr. Lover! Oh, like yes, you see? What? Now I will say anytime we came across someone who was super overwhelmed, we ended up backing off and leaving. At one point there was a dog, right away the owner was like, my dog's skittish, my dog's skittish, and we respected that and went to the next person. We made sure we were never crossing any lines. Now everyone was commenting how much they loved all the absurd questions that I was asking people. But there's a secret I have to expose about it. So actually in the beginning, I was fumbling over my words a lot. Mac actually hit me up and was like, hey, we have some scripted questions that I want you to film yourself saying so that way we can add them to the video and no one will know. Except you guys now. Ma'am, ma'am, is it true that you and your grandma got a divorce? Is it true that you left your newborn child at Chili's last night? Jake? What? You look ridiculous. I know. So I tried initially filming in my room, but that didn't work out too well. Hey, Drew, yeah. they need me to do it again, but outside this time. Again? Ma'am! Ma'am! Ma'am, is it true that you left your newborn child at Chili's? Dude, I feel fucking dumb. Do you think the neighbors are pissed off? Considering it's 1 a.m., yeah. Now, only some of the questions were like this. I actually did come up with some pretty good ones. My favorite one was the Sandy one. That one was legit. Make sure you guys stick around to the end of this video because there's also going to be a ping pong game for $20,000. But before we get into that, today we're gonna be sneaking to the world's largest music festival. But unlike Eric, I actually was hired to be there. Jake, we wanted to come see you take pictures. We love you. Your performance was amazing. We watched the whole thing, it was unbelievable. Love you, bro. So the performance he was talking about is something called Tramp Wall, which is what, if you're new to the channel, I do on a regular basis. I'm a professional circus performer and acrobat, and I got hired by Zero Gravity Arts to perform at this festival. And let me tell you, it was the coolest experience of my entire life. And I'm feeling good. Words can't describe how insane it was to perform in front of a hundred thousand people. With the music, the crowd, the energy, you couldn't help but throw your biggest, hardest tricks. I felt like a superhero that entire weekend. Now before I get to my favorite part of this entire experience, this is a clip from my perspective on top of the wall where I can just see a sea of people. Now of course the performance itself was cool, but my favorite part was actually going into the crowd in what we called barricade time. Good. 
Now I had an amazing time, but shortly after this, a ping pong tournament was being set up because... Literally everyone claims to be the best ping pong player on YouTube. Which is a very true statement. Unfortunately, me and my friends were not invited to the tournament that he put on, so I hosted my own matchup with real money on the line. All right, so I've arranged a ping pong match between you and Elton. You each have to place a bet into a briefcase. You can place whatever amount you want in it, a dollar all the way up to infinity. Okay. Okay, so what Drew does not know is that Elton is putting $10,000 on the line, and he is very good. He used to compete at an Asian cultural center and hustle people for money. Before the game started, I instigated a little trash talk between the two of them. Yo! Just want to let you know that I'm going to wreck you in ping pong. Hope your girlfriend has a BDSM fetish for you, because it's going to be nothing but me hammering your balls for 21 straight points. Nick! Bring out Drew's suitcase! Are we revealing it right now? Am I finding out right now it's on the line? Yeah. Whatever they're betting is their confidence in their own ping pong abilities. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh! Oh! Wow. Good luck topping that, Your buddy. Your whole bank account. Yeah. Yeah. Drum roll, please. Did we get a drum roll? Three games to 11. Best out of three wins. That's all there is to it. Elton, serve. Let's go. Now there's something you guys need to know. I actually told Elton to lose the first game on purpose. And to do that, he's actually playing with his left hand. If you watch closely in this next rally, he switched it over to his right to keep it convincing, but he's gonna switch it back to his left. Right there. Now I've played both of them a ton. Drew's my roommate, Elton's a close friend of mine, and it was obvious that Drew had very, very little chance of winning this thing. So after Elton throws the first game, it's on to the second one. What the frick? First round goes to Drew, time for the second game. Right. Now the beginning of the second game started a little interesting. See, Elton lost the first three points right in a row when he should not be throwing the match anymore. And Drew was playing better than I've ever seen him play. Oh! 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 Eli's me. What? He, he beats you more often than he does. No, Jay actually fucking beats me some of the times. At this point, I started getting really nervous because Elton thought that I was hustling him. At this point that I thought I was fucked and that Elton thought I'd hustled him out of ten thousand dollars until this happened. Do you want to double or nothing? <laughs> I mean, you want to. Uh, no, no way! No. So if you win, you just take your ten grand and you're fine. Uh -huh. And if I win, I get the I get double. Twenty grand. <laughs> oh yeah, what that shit right? <laughs> Oh my god! This is not what I was anticipating for this video. This is way, I am really nervous now. <laughs> I'm sweating. Now they are playing one last game at 21 for $20,000. Oh!
insane. <laughs> I'm so thankful he doubled it because I was not letting him take that money. I told him not to gamble. Gambling is never good. You just take it and throw it. Embarrassed me? Yeah, he was playing like trash. Like, almost decided to. I love you! It's all about watch time, yes, retention. Yes, you yes. want people to stay excited. <laughs> Everyone needs a story to cheer for the villain. He comes back, you know? He's lying. He got so scared. He's so sweaty. I'm not sweaty. Liquid of victory That's is what so that is. That made me so nervous. Like, so nervous. 